Child marriage is defined as marriage before the age of 18, and a United Nations initiative seeks to end the practice globally over the next 10 years. In Minnesota, that goal has been accomplished. Minnesota is only the fourth state, Pennsylvania beat us by four days, that will ban marriage before the age of 18. Does this indicate a pervasive point of view that marriage for minors is appropriate? Well, I think it's just a hangover from begone days, you know, our grandparents' time when there wasn't much of, of a teenagehood for young people and that that was their choice is they, you know, young men were apprenticed and they got, jo they got jobs young and young women were really trained to run the farm or run the household and uh, that's all there was. Nowadays, so many people don't get married or they get married in their late 20s, early 30s. And so I just think that people don't think about it so much because they don't think it's happening because it's, it's still pretty rare, especially in Minnesota. We don't actually know the number of, uh, cause we don't keep track. Um, but uh, that's why I just think people are surprised to find out that we allow um, children to get married. I did read a statistic that across the nation uh, between 2000 and 2010, they estimate about 250,000 minors right. are getting married. There are a patchwork of laws across states that deal with marriage. In some states, children as young as 12 can still get married. Mm -hmm. um, last year in Idaho, they had a bill that would have banned marriage before the age of 16, judicial parental consent for 16, 17 year olds, and that bill failed in Idaho. So what does it tell you about Minnesota that in both the House and the Senate, this bill passed unanimously? I think it, it says what I said before is that people didn't realize that we actually allowed it for under age 18. And when, when they think back to their children or themselves, they really recognize that uh, children are really not prepared for marriage. That being said, um, it did take me a while to convince people that we shouldn't still allow the exceptions. Because remember, current law allows 16 and 17 year olds to marry with their parents' permission and with judges' approval, but it doesn't give any guidance for judges. So, um, I mean, there were people who still, still feel that if a girl gets pregnant, it's better for her to be married. And yet we know the high domestic abuse rate and the divorce rate is very high. And actually, uh, children under the age of 18 can't get divorced. So, that, so we were in a situation where they could get married, but they couldn't get out of the marriage. Um, and also, I think that there are still some people who had kind of a romantic notion. I mean, someone once said to me, why should I interfere with a Romeo and Juliet marriage? And I took a pause and I said, well, how'd that end up? <laughs> how did that end up? You know, they both end up dead at the end of the play. So it wasn't a very good example at all. Uh, child marriage is not only happening in the United States, but also around the globe. The advocacy group Unchained at, Lan at Last was instrumental in getting this legislation uh, through the state of Minnesota's legislature. Mm -hmm. What did they do right? Well, there's really two questions. The age of 18 around the globe um, for marriage is really becoming the standard. And the United Nations certainly supports that and international health groups support that because young girls who get married that young do face a lot of health challenges, including impacted pregnancies and, and a lot of later health, uh, health issues. Um, the work of, your other question is the work of Unchained. Um, I think they did what any good advocacy group did, uh, does. They um, contacted uh, their members to, um, to call the committee. They flew out here from New Jersey and we did a, a fantastic press conference with young girls wearing bridal dresses, you know, um, like girls, not brides, and uh, with chains on their, on their arms, on their, on their wrists, and, um, and they did individual lobbying. Um, and the fact that it was really a, a national movement, they had all the statistics, all the data on their website available for us to use. So they were extremely helpful. So the governor did sign this bill on August 1st, then uh, anyone under the age of 18 will not be allowed to get married in Minnesota. Um, and this is in part due to your efforts. And who was your partner in the House on this? I'm glad you brought up Kaylee Herr, Representative Kaylee Herr, and the fact that personal stories also make, uh, make a difference. And Kaylee spoke very eloquently about um, when she was a teenager and an older man approached her father 
uh, because it was cult that was culturally appropriate at one point in her, her Hmong community. And her father just said, go away. My daughter's going to college and she's gonna get married when she's good and ready. And so he was very supportive of her and that really kind of helped her go against the tradition of her community. So those personal stories, the head of Unchained at last was in a forced marriage at age 19. Those are also very persuasive. We had a number of Minnesota women who had talked about um, you know, um, her, uh, her husband-to-be driving to another state, which we don't allow in this uh, legislation, uh, until they found, and judge shopping, until they found someone that would marry her at the age of 14. So this is, this is a good bill. Uh, Senator Sandy Pappas, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Shannon. All right, stay home, stay safe.